are lovely but they are just dreams fleeting ephemeral and pretty but dreams do not come true just because you dream them it's hard work that makes things happen it's hard work that creates change happy 10th anniversary 10 years of togetherness 10 years of happiness 10 years of making dreams come true 10 years of sharing 10 years of trust 10 beautiful years yu hi nahi milti rahi ko manzil ek junoon sa dil mein jagana hota hai pucha chidiya se kaise bana aashiyana boli bharni padti hai udaan bar bar tinka tinka uthana hota hai san vincent polity school nasik marks 10 years of its journey in year 2021 since it opened the doors to San Vincent Polity School for the first time with a motto to enlighten all in 2011. The school aims at make every child enlightened in all aspects of his life. We have a vision and a desire to work with the young children and help them find a place to grow and learn without being consumed any fear of outcome. The decade has gone being really fast. It has involved a lot of learning, been very challenging and a lot of fun. We began with a few wonderful kids and the growth was constant thereafter. Every morning is a surprise and every sunrise is a challenge and each day is a gift. To give the first fruit of the day to the Lord is one of the most valuable ways to show our love to God. Let's glorify to the Almighty God through the graceful entry of the spiritual dance team. Thank you the delightful dancers for adding auspicious twilight on the spiritual glow to the program. Light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity. As light expels the darkness of might, 
Similarly, blessings bring in our life happiness and prosperity. So, to make this event a blessed one, by lighting the lamp, we request our dignitaries to light the lamp. Thank you all. The essence of the school anthem is to rose the spirits of the children, uplift their souls. Not only this, it enthuses them with the pride to being a part of this institution, which make them hold their heads high. So, I would request the choir members of the school to sing for us a school anthem. We sing praises to God of wisdom. Thank you. Welcoming is the noblest act of any function. By welcoming, we make the person feels at home amidst us. Here, for welcoming address, I would like to call our manager, Reverend Father Arun Thomas, whose actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more. Honorable Chief Guest, Most Reverend Lourdes Daniel, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nasik, Reverend Father Joy Palachuatil, Chairman of the Paloti Group of Institutions, Nagpur, Respected Principal Father Shain Augustine, dear supervisors, teachers, students, parents, and well wishes. I stand before you with a heart full of immense joy and gratitude. Gratitude to God for having blessed St. Vincent Paloti School, Nasik, with lots of knowledge, with lots of blessings for over the 10 years. I am extremely happy to be part of this institution which began its journey a decade ago with a motto to enlighten all and as we stand at this moment to cherish the journey that we began 10 years back we feel that St. Vincent Paloti School has become the tree that has enlightened everyone who came under its shade.
just like the Bodhi tree that under which Buddha was enlightened. It is with so much honor, it is with so much happiness that our school celebrates its 10th year of anniversary. And we are extremely proud and we are extremely grateful to everyone who contributed to the growth of this tree of knowledge under which we have worked hard in order to enlighten the students. In our journey of enlightening everyone, there are numerous people who have helped us in order to achieve this motto. Previous managers, principal, teachers, parents, students, well-wishers, everyone who came under this shade have contributed in realizing the dream, in realizing the motto of our school, that is to enlighten all. My wish and prayer for the St. Vincent Paloti School is that we may continue to enlighten, we may continue to impart knowledge to our students that they may become better citizens of India who will lead our country to light and truth. May God bless St. Vincent Paloti School. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for such a warm welcome. You can speak well if your tongue can deliver the message of your heart. And such a holy message always comes from the heart of our chief guest, most reverend Bishop Lutz Daniel, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nashville. Bishop Lutz Daniel is truly a father figure for all those who come in contact with him. He takes genuine interest and shows his affection for our school and all those who are part of it. Extensively, we oh, would well, to take this opportunity to invite our chief guest, most favorite Bishop Lourdes Dahlia, to address school guest news celebrating its decade journey. Dear respected Father Sain Augustine, the principal of St. Pelotti School, Father Arun Thomas, the manager, Father Kuriakos, my dear teachers, the non-teaching staff, the parents, and my dear children. St. Paluti School, Nasik is entering the 10th glorious years in this academic field. On this day, with great joy in my heart, I congratulate all of you and also wish you God's abundant blessing. As you look back with gratitude, the abundance, mercy of God, we think of the pioneers, a powerful instrument of God's love. Inspired by this spirit, these pioneers came in search of truth and as they were in search of seeking truth, the spirit inspired them to enter in the field of education so that enlightening the young mind and leading them to the truth too. With this intention, keep in mind the place where there is a real need of education, educating the young children, mainly coming from the 
agricultural community, farmers community and a poor background, these pioneers thought of starting this school. It's not only a dream, but a total dedication, the hard work with which they started the school. When the school was established in 2011, just for information, there were hardly 36 children and four teaching staff. But after 10 years, the fruit of the labor, you can see that there are nearly 1,050 children and 75 teaching and non-teaching staff. Hearty congratulations, dear fathers and the teachers, for a great achievement in a short time. They received the recognition from the state government and in few years they switched over to CBSC and they also got the recognition. All this within 10 years. Coming back to educating the children is a great responsibility not only of the teachers but also of the parents. The children whom have given birth with love. You have great dreams for them, for the bright future. And to make it a reality, the fathers, the teachers, the non-teaching staff, with a dedicated service, offer themselves totally so that these children may grow in wisdom and knowledge. They create a beautiful environment, a space, let the children grow freely, seeking truth. This is the age of formation. We are forming these children so that in future they may fit in a society as men of virtue. Today, there is a rapid growth in information and technology field. There is a temptation to misuse this knowledge, but the school creates an environment and guides them so that they make the best use of it only for their growth. On this day, I pray for the principal, the manager, the teachers and the non-teaching staff and my dear parents for you and your children so that together we try to make it the future of the children, beautiful, wonderful, and glorious. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Bishop, for your gracious presence as a teacher. Only the obsession of teaching are for your kind words. That is fact as well. A great leader is one who has the will to translate a vision into reality. A reverend father joy, Palachavatil, the chairman of our school, is one among such a motivational and inspirational leader. Anything is possible when you have the right people to support you. Yes, it is absolutely true. Reverend Father Joy is the backbone of Palatine family. Father played a vital role in all the recent developments that school has seen. For the past years, our school has made many accomplishments. Father Joy has ensured that students get all the facilities that would help the students to grow into better people. We are extremely delighted to invite Reverend Father Joy to address on the decade journey celebration of our school. Dear Reverend Father Arun Thomas, the manager, Reverend Father Shine Augustine, the principal, respected supervisors, teachers, beloved students with their parents. Anniversaries are very important part of school life. Celebrating the 10th anniversary of St. Vincent Palotti School, Trimbeck 
Vidya Mandir Nashik provides a platform to celebrate how this school which had a very humble beginning with 36 students has evolved into a full-fledged CBSE school with over 1,456 students now. It's a meaningful milestone, 10 years of memories. It's a moment to thank God Almighty for showering us with his abundant blessings. It's an occasion to appreciate and thank everyone, particularly the good people of the neighborhood and the parents who have reposed their trust and confidence in St. Vincent Pallotti School. It's my duty also to thank everyone, the Reverend Fathers, the respected teachers and the supporting staff who are running this school efficiently well. Above all, I congratulate you, my dear students, who are trying hard to study, to grow and progress in your growth journey. I offer you my best wishes, prayers and blessings to you as you celebrate this special day. Your dedication, your enthusiasm and your hard work are really inspiring. I wish you many more years of achievement and happiness. Happy 10th anniversary. God bless you. Thank you so much, Father, for your valuable message. Aradhya, what is happening here? See, dear Rashi, I have done this once before on the first day of my school. Reverend Father Anthony Roswan took my hand and made me to write on rice in front of the lamp. Wow! Amazing! As I am a new student to this school, I don't know more about Father Anthony. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Father Anthony is a person who always holds the hand of a needy person and help him or her to find the path from darkness to light. Let us invite our former manager, Reverend Father Anthony Roswan, to address us on this decade celebration. Dear very Reverend Joy Parachotil, the chairman of Palotti Institute of Schools, Dear Reverend Father Arun Thomas, the manager. Dear Reverend Father Shaina Agustin, the principal. Reverend Father Kuriakos, the member of LMC. My dear supervisors, teachers, non-teaching staff, students, parents and well-wishers. It gives me immense pleasure to learn that this Alma Mater, St. Vincent Palotti School, is celebrating the 10th year of its humble beginning. Like a mustard seed, it had its humble beginning. But now the school has grown into a shady tree, caring, accommodating and enlightening all. To believe that I was part of this school gives me great pride and joy. Like a drop in the ocean, I too journeyed with you in shedding light to all. As you celebrate this historical milestone, what can I say? Keep enlightening all. Keep thanking the God continually for the many blessings. I wish to congratulate all of you on this occasion and pray for the continuous blessings from above that the school becomes a beacon of light that dispels every darkness of ignorance, disunity, inequality, injustice, corruption, and may give birth to a new era of love, peace, and unity. May God bless you all. Thank you so much, Father, for your words of appreciation and blessings. 
Being a good leader is not about having power over others, but instilling or build power in others. The power of confidence, the power of creativity, the power of enthusiasm, and the power of innovative ideas. We can see in our dynamic and vibrant principle. Honorable Chief Guest, Most Reverend Lourdes Daniel, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese Nasik, Guest of Honor, Very Reverend Father Joy Palachuat Lesesi, Chairman of the Paloti Group of Institutions Nagpur, Our Manager, Reverend Father Arun Thomas, Respected Supervisors, Teachers, Dear Students, parents and well-wishers. It's an honor and great joy for me to speak on this joyous occasion when St. Vincent Paloti School is celebrating its 10th anniversary. We are so happy that all of you are here together to celebrate this event. In fact, we are not prepared to celebrate it physically. That's the reason we are here on this online platform to celebrate this event. Today is the culmination of the journey that St. Vincent Paloti School had begun in 2011. Over the 10 years, the school has got its shape and many things have changed, but its motto has not. Today, we ask ourselves how much we have achieved over the 10 years and what more can we achieve in the coming years. St. Vincent Paloti School was nurturing the students of Nasik and helping them to develop their own skills and talents, were it academics or non-academics. It was serving the society through this noble course of education and was developing young minds for the development of the state of Maharashtra and the nation India. As we relive the past years, we are proud and happy that we have done a little bit for this society at Nasik. As we complete 10 years of our journey, we are grateful to many people in this place. Our Bishop Lourdes Daniel, our Chairman Father Joy, the managers over the years who worked tirelessly, the teachers who have taught in the school for many years, the parents who are with us for many years, and the students who are dedicating themselves for education. We are grateful to the local authorities in this place for their contribution for this institution. As we go forward, let us take a pledge to dedicate ourselves to motivating and encouraging the young minds in the years to come. Uh, become part of a society where all are united to stand for a single cause of enlightening all. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you so much Father for boosting us with powerful words on this joyful occasion. Head boy and head girl are the student leadership roles in the school, representing the school's entire student body. They are normally the most senior prefects in the school. 
So here I request our school's head boy and head girl to read the report. How pleasant and thrilling it is to recall the past with great pioneers of St Vincent Pallotti school who sensed the need of the people and took up the challenge to educate the children of this place by establishing a temple of knowledge. Our journey began in the year 2011 as a result of the realization of the need of the place and our the school began at a plot near Trambak Vidya Mandir in Belgaum Dhaga Gram Panchayat along the road to Vasali Gaon that society persisted in 2007 when reverend father matthew panakkil sac was the chairman this minority institution is administered by the nagpur polotain society a charitable trust for educational social and charitable purpose the school received recognition from education department of maharashtra in 2012 coming together is the beginning keeping together is progress working together is success school began its journey with three grades lkg ukg and class 1 under the guidance and leadership of the first manager reverend father george tatam parambil sac there were three teachers and 36 student in the first year in the year 2014-15 the enrolled students were 150 today the strength is 1456 students and 74 staff on roll in the academic year 2015-16 the school added one more crown to its glory a new building wing was inaugurated with ground floor and first floor with total number of 14 classrooms the classrooms are spacious with proper ventilation it also included computer lab library maths lab and science lab on the first floor as sports is something that rejuvenates and relaxes the students and also helps in their overall growth the school developed a well equipped playground the blessing of the building was done by most reverend Lords Daniel the bishop of catholic diocese nashik and inaugurated by very reverend father vergis pullen sac the chairman of pelotti group of institutions on 30th june 2015 as a fruit of growth and increase in number of students the school received noc from state government of maharashtra in 2018 Realizing education to be the factor that plays a vital role in shaping the future generation it became an essential component to increase the number of classrooms due to this the management decided to begin the construction of the second floor under the supervision of manager reverend father anthony rosewin sac and principal reverend father shain agustin sac the blessing of the second floor was done by very reverend Father Vargis Pullen SAC The key to success is to focus on goals not on obstacles The school already had a well equipped playground and later added facilities like basketball and volleyball courts a fully developed library with 6525 books as well as facilitated the science lab with needed equipment computer lab with a total number of 42 computers were also made ready In order to achieve the affiliation there were many people who worked hard with dedication behind the curtains that is the management smc pta teaching and non teaching staff students and our well wishers the historic dawn of 13th december 2019 brought the most awaited news of school's affiliation with cbsc which was an epic achievement in the history of the school In 2021 the school received the extension of affiliation which is valid up to 2027 the school building and campus took a full shape and completion under the able guidance of reverend father arun thomas sac the present manager of the school the cbse board result of the school always adds a feather to its crown 
The first batch students that appeared in the CBSC board exam in 2021 and brought laurels to the school with an outstanding result of 100% success. From the total of 38 students that appeared in the exam, 10 students got 90% and above. 8 students got 80%. Master Prince Badrinath Yadav topped the merit list. As the school celebrates its decade journey, we bow our head in reverence to the Almighty God for His blessings showered upon this institution. All these achievements were possible only because of the commitment of the management, teaching and non-teaching staff, students, parents, benefactors and well-wishers. We express our sincere thanks and heartfelt gratitude to all who had been with us in this journey of achievement and for their continuous support and cooperation. Thank you.